Richmond locals have nicknamed this the Freedom Arch as a nod to the number of African Americans who found freedom here along the riverfront. New Richmond's entire riverfront is recognized by the National Park Service as a National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom site. And it was a network. One account tells of an unusual way a man named Jim made it to New Richmond as a stowaway on a boat. A young African American, uh, uh, enslaved American was uh, was crated in a, in a box in Louisville, uh, Kentucky. When they landed here, uh, Levi uh, Coffin, who was a great abolitionist in Cincinnati and, and local abolitionists were here to physically take him and to whisk him north. The Ohio River then wasn't as deep, making the distance to freedom possible. You could sometimes even walk across it. And the Underground Railroad activity through the village was quite active. We have the one with Leroy Lee, where um, slave catchers from Kentucky came looking for him. When they found him, they tried to flaunt his capture in front of New Richmond's abolitionist villagers. Uh, paraded him up our street in shackles uh, behind a, a horse and, and wagon. I believe he was here visiting his mother, who was married into the Lamb family. They were a free family. Um, and uh, he was captured, and the people of New Richmond said, not in our town, you got to go. So there was this armed um, standoff that took place right here on this very spot in New Richmond. Outmanned and outgunned, the slave catchers let Lee go. Later, Lee joined the Union Army. New Richmond's churches were pivotal at that time. Churches like First Presbyterian pressured its leadership to take a stand against slavery. The building still stands today. It was a supportive environment for African Americans, both free and, and escaped slaves who came here. Sumerian Cemetery is the final resting place for many African Americans, including over 20 who were Union soldiers from the Civil War. We realize, you know, we really do have something here. It's really meaningful. Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.